Hi, this is Curtis at the digitalphotocoach.com. I'm going to show you how to make a triptych using Photoshop. I'm beginning with a nice image shot in an Italian restaurant. as a pretty mural on the wall. And um, it is sized at um, 12 inches wide and 6 inches high. And I'm going to divide it into three parts and then reassemble them as a triptych. They need to be 4 inches wide since the overall is 12. So I'm going to start out using the marquee tool and I'm going to choose a fixed size and set it at 4 inches and for the width and 6 inches for the height and I can come over here and just click off to the left and it automatically selects that size and I can simply edit, copy and create a new file and edit and paste. So I have that first part done now. Let me get the second part. Go back to the original. I'll press Control and D which deselects what was selected and again I'm going to move to the right side and click so that I have the right section. I'll do an edit, copy, file, new and edit and paste. So now I've got two of the three that I need. Going back to the original, I'm going to make sure now that we are set to add to the selection because before it was set to subtract and I can go over here and click on the left again and now I have both the left and the right side selected. By choosing select and inverse I'll end up now have only the center section selected and I can edit and copy file new and edit and paste. So now I've got the three sections that I need and I want to put a white border around them and so I'm going to use the image um, canvas size command to do that but since I have to do that three times I'm going to create an action that will do it so I don't have to repeat all my steps and that will give you the benefit of seeing how to create an action. So I have an action here I'm going to do a new set or a new action in this set and I'm going to call it a quarter inch white border and I'll click OK or re click record and it's ready to go and um, I can simply do image canvas size and <clears throat> I'm going to leave it selected as relative if I did otherwise it would show four and a six four and six and I just have to um, add some more numbers to it but it's just as easy to do it as relative and I'm going to say add 0.5 inches to the width and 0.5 inches to the height and that will give me a quarter inch on the top and on the bottom and a quarter, in on, quarter inch on each side. I click OK and now I'm going to um, make a copy of this layer and you'll see why in just a second. I can do that by Control J. That duplicates that layer. I can select the first one and go get the paintbrush or the paint bucket tool. Now it's already set with a white foreground. Uh, you can toggle this back and forth. And if you happen to have different colors set, for instance, if you started out with with red, um, you could get back to uh, the normal default by pressing D, that selects the default colors, and the toggle switch to get you the white background. I'm sorry, the white foreground. Now we'll get the paint bucket tool and we'll just click on this first layer a couple of times 
make sure we've got it all filled with white and now we can stop recording on the action. And I did some extra things to this one. Um, you notice we did the exchanging the swatches and setting the foreground color to show you how that works. So we really don't need those in the future. And we'll just delete them. So we've got this action created and we can just open up the other two and let me move the actions out of the way so you can see them untitled two um, and we can simply just run the action by clicking on the button here and we've got that one done and we'll get the first one run the action on it and we now have all three of them framed so we're not going to use the actions panel anymore And I will create a new file now. File, new. And it needs to be, let's go in width, this changes to inches. We started out with a 6 by 12, but we put a quarter inch around all those three panels. So we're going to need a width of 13 inches. And oops, 13, and we need six and a half because we put a quarter inch on the top and the bottom. And we're ready to go. Click OK, and we've got this new file. If we open up the first section and edit, and, sorry, select all, edit, copy, we can go to our new one, Untitled 4, and Edit and Paste. And we're going to want this up against the left edge, so I can just grab this with the arrow tool and put it at the left side. Now I need to get the middle section. And before I do that, I'm just going to put a, a guide here along the right edge of that to kind of guide me when I'm putting, placing the other piece. And I'll open up, uh, I guess, which one is it? The middle piece. Select all, edit, copy, and I can edit and paste and that goes right in the middle and so it's just lined up just as it should be already. Um, Photoshop always wants to paste in the middle. Now if we go to the uh, right side, which I guess is this one, edit, I'm sorry, select all, edit, copy back to our untitled. I'll put a guide there, edit and paste, and I've still got the arrow selected and I can just pull this one over. And there we have the triptych. If you want to see how it looks at this point, we've got the three layers so we can simply merge them all into one layer. Um, layer, I'm going to choose flatten image, and now we have everything in one layer, and we are done with our triptych. So I thank you for watching, and be sure to come back to the digitalphotocoach.com, and you'll find plenty of other ideas there to help you use Photoshop and to become a better photographer.